Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today I'll be giving you a quick preview of the upcoming road race happening this Saturday, the 16th of September at the Kazemiya Country Estate, close to Kalinin. It's the Subaru Blue Diamond Classic. There are two distances on offer, 79 km, which has 750 meters of elevation, and the 99 km, which has 880 meters of elevation. According to the profiles that I've looked at. So let's head on to the features of this race. Six kilometers into the race you'll encounter your first climb. It's four kilometers long with an average gradient of 3.8 percent. The last kilometer of this climb averages 7.7 percent. Let's have a look at the segment times on this for the fastest guys which would be your elites. You have Chris Uester at 31.1 kilometers average speed, 7 minutes and 52 seconds, with an average power of 395 watts. Followed by Dylan Goodelson, Tristan Cuthbert, Kieran Correa, Eric Cross, at 355 watts at a time of 8.07, quite a light rider, and Jakub van Dijk, same time, 415 watts. Followed by Barry Crouch, Sean Nick Vester, Nico Tiart, Alvin Steenkamp, Ricardo Broxham and Damon for sure. Most of the elites are pretty close in 2021. These were the times it was set and quite a big bunch of guys went over there. Once you turn right off to the climb, you head down towards Rayton, follow a loop back past Bronco Spreit, back to Cullinan, turning right and back to the estate. It's quite a rolling route, which will drag up from Brooklyn Sprite towards Cullinan and then the fast downhill once you turn right back to the estate, the same climb. I think there's going to be quite a battle with the elites. You'll have DMS highly represented with Ken Main and Gustav Besson, which is on some good form. I think Tufo will bring Chris Yester which would definitely set a higher tempo up the climb and give the guys a run with Jakub van Dijk and Kasper Kreer. I do think that they can do something on the climb. As for your license categories, I'm sure the bunch would be split up there or stick together. The wind would play a factor for most of the bunches, yep. I think when you turn left at Bronco Sprite back to Cullinan, there will be a crosswind and which could possibly have some gutters on offer. At the end of the day, I think the teams must just watch out for not crossing the white line. We don't want the same happening in 2021 at the Twine Classic, which used the same route, and most of the categories were disqualified. With most of the races being cancelled, I think we are going to see quite a lot of competition here. Well, that's a wrap for the Blue Diamond Classic in short. Be sure to follow the channel, subscribe, give it a like, share it with your friends and be on the lookout for upcoming previews and some race feedback. I'll catch you on the next one.